with 260 stuck on the scoreboard and two seconds hanging on the clock. Solemn ball in the center of eyes, squeezed by silence. Seeks out the line with his feet, sues his hand along his uniform. Gently, drums the ball against the floor, then measures the waiting net. Raises the ball with his right hand, balances it with his left, calms it with his fingertips, breathes, crouches, waits, and then, through a stretching of stillness, nudges it upwards. The ball slides up and out, lands, leans, wobbles, wavers, hesitates, plays a coy, until every face begs with unsounding screams. And then, and then, and then, right before Aurora drives down and through. We think the poem, Foul Shot, should move on because, first, the poem structure is quite different to most other poems. The spacing of the lines and line breaks for dramatic buildup and making it sound better. Also, repetition for substance, for example, at this part, until every face begs with unsounding screams, and then, and then, and then. The line breaks here helps add emphasis to each and then, which adds to build substance. The line breaks here help add emphasize to each and then, which adds to the building suspense. This poem also gives the reader a whole different view on basket, rather than from the perspective of an average fan come to watch the game. You've got it through the eyes of a nosy sport cast, caster or po poetic team member. You get how it feels to actually be in be in the game, not from the sidelines. From this scene here, comes it with your fing with fingertips, suits, hands along his uniform, seeks out the line with his feet. You don't pick out these kinds of things unless you're up close and in game. Throughout the poem, the intensity never dies and is consistently revived in each stanza. Example here: the solemn boy in the center vies, squeezed by silence. This poem also has strong con connotation that really helps with creating a mental image and feel of the poem. For example, wobbles, wavers, hesitates, plays a coy, etc. And finally, the whole poem builds up for its great climax. The most suspenseful, suspenseful part of the poem where until every face begs with unsounding screams. This is the greatest point of tension where everyone is holding their breath watching as the ball teases the audience before going for its final plunge and dropping into the hoop.